Hi there, YouTube. Ah, happy Mirshim Monday or Cop Tuesday, depending on the day I make this video public. <laughs> Sorry, no housekeeping today. I have just I've had a, a horrible headache on my way home from work, and the painkillers have just kicked in, so I'm <laughs> in no mood to smoke anything. But uh, I still wanted to make a video because I have a package to I need to open, and I've bought some stuff, and I want to sniff some tobacco, and you know, and I won't don't want to do this without you people. So here goes. Uh, you know how that happens. You order a bunch of things, and then all the orders come in at once and that's what happened I went went out to pick my order that I placed at the local online store here in Moscow and at the same time the package from the neighboring state I told you about on one of my pre previous videos it had arrived so I picked it up on my way home while holding my hand, head with my hands <laughs> and praying for some sort of pill <laughs> to ease my pain. But anyways, first and foremost, I have a confession to make. I purchased another pipe. I know, I know, I have just received this beautiful bird drum that I cleaned up a little bit and it's, it's a gorgeous pipe and I haven't tried it yet and still I bought another one but you know it was a totally impulse purchase and uh, one thing I don't have in my hoard I don't call it a collection I have a hoard of pipes is mortar and I saw a mortar pipe at, in the on the web page of the online store and it was priced at uh, something like 40 bucks and it looked nice it was brand new and it was and it said that it was manufactured here in russia and that got me intrigued so i basically ordered it and received it today and here it is that's probably the most heavy metal pipe i own <laughs> So this is quite a bold Rhodesian, and it looks nice. It looks more expensive than a you know, forty bucks, sort of a basket pipe. Some nice grain. I cannot confirm that this is a genuine mortar, but it has to be because you know, uh, sand blasting it or you know, rusticating it to get this kind of very mortar-like finish that will be a chore. It's painted, of course, but seems to be there. I cannot sense anything. The stem is nicely cut. It's not completely fully flush here, so there's a slight gap, but I don't see a problem here. There are no seams over, the, over here. It all seems nice. This seems nice. You know, the chamber is quite deep but quite narrow, so my thumb doesn't fit. And I like that because I don't like huge pipes because I don't have time to, to smoke them. And it says castle. Here it's stamped castle. And I don't know a brand, such a brand in Russia. I know of a tobacco brand castle that I think is made in Germany but this is a complete mystery but you know the drilling seems okay it whistles a little bit if I push it but you know that's t to me <laughs> it seems like a plus seems like in you know red light you know if it whistles you're pushing it too hard so I like this looks neat it looks you know tough and cool and 
it, I don't even want to hold it like this. It lends itself to s sort of this grip, you know. It doesn't suit my face at all. But I don't care. So I'll give you an update on that. As soon as I get to try it. Yeah. Nice one. So far, I, I like this thing. I'll post pictures online in my Instagram account. And I also bought some tobacco, definitely. Uh, in one of my previous videos I uh, was worried about the... How shall I put that? I was worried that uh, one of my favorite blends was going out. And uh, I asked for suggestions for a mild English slash Oriental blend. Got quite a bit of comments. And thanks a bunch <laughs> once again. And I definitely couldn't buy a a a everything, but I did buy because it was pretty easy to find a sample of Samuel Gawith Squadron Leader and here's an obligatory awful awful notification and uh, remember you may remember I was sort of giggling about uh, them having us Russian authorities putting stickers on these packages and uh, these stickers could be removed with warm water just soaking them and scrubbing them off with your fingernail now these are legitimately printed on the on the package itself so you cannot remove that yeah. i won't open it because i also bought a sample of Commonwealth, some will go with Commonwealth, which wasn't recommended by I. Uh, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> you can see this uh, this one is completely free of any stickers apart from the title one. So I uh, that's an older package. I could remove sticker from this one. Could remove from that one. And I also bought a tin of Presbyterian mixture by Planta. I had to partially scrape off on color on the obligatory sign you know what smoking does to you yeah I do and I opened it just popped it open I haven't I haven't opened it yet so I, I'll get a sniff hopefully yeah that smiles ki kind of like Wild Atlantic not quite. I won't open. I can sense this. Not try. That's interesting. Usually tin, tins in Russian stores are you know, very dry. Mellow blend of US Virginia tobaccos, high quality Macedonian grades. Yeah. You can definitely feel the orientals in it. It smells nice. I don't remember who recommended it. But thank you. <laughs> uh, I had, I think I had an experience with Planta. A friend of mine gave me a tin that was bone dry was an aromatic and it smelled an awful lot like tea <laughs> so I didn't like it gave it back <laughs> I've, after you know giving it a bit of love some moisture but this Presbyterian mixture is nice and we come to the package opening you may remember I was wondering how Will it go through customs because Russian legislation prohibits cross-border transportation, importing tobacco and tobacco products 
without proper documentation. So I was wondering how they went about that. So quantity and detailed description of contents. Three souvenirs. <laughs> That's, isn't that adorable? <laughs> souvenirs. So if anyone wants to make a leap of faith and send me some tobacco, you can label it as you know, tea, herbs, something like that. <laughs> And e, there's a good chance that it will go through customs. I actually asked a friend of mine who's very much into knives. And uh, I think they have their own trouble with cross-border transportation of blades, etc. And he says we simply label it as tools. And it usually goes through just fine. Oh, well, PTO cannot tell it to the, you know, store employee online. Okay, I'm cutting this open using my trusty Leatherman wingman because I have nothing else at hand, on hand. I have to work on my prepositions. So this store basically did what stores in Russia do not really do. They were offering samples, I think 25 gram small samples. So I jumped at the chance to get something. They were ordering uh, and they were selling bulk tobaccos, right? Like, you know, Cornell and Deal bulk, which I couldn't buy. You can buy tins of Cornell and Deal, you cannot buy bulk tobaccos. cannot find up. Oh. Seems nicely packed. They obviously didn't want their souvenirs to produce a distinct souvenir-like smell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to cut this on camera, you know. Such is the nature of yabos. Oh, Yapos in this case. Package opening for the box. Okay, here goes nothing. Zip log. And so th these are not the. Uh, you people haven't recommended any of those, I believe. So. But, you know, these are some of the household names. Let's call it that. Vacuum sealed, as far as I can see. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, let's start with, a, with an obvious one. This is Haunted Bookshop. <laughs> a blend very much favored by Matches 860. This is, I think, I think it's a, it's a burly blend, and burly is to me firmly associated with cigarettes. So, yeah, there's something cigarette-like in this, but it's not it's not unpleasant. Very interesting, and I think it smells kind of strong. Cannot vacuum seal it at least. Suck the air away. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. <laughs> and I cannot read the sign. Let's have let's let's keep it. I'll address it in another video because I, I do not remember what I ordered. Sorry. And this one, this is pretty. It's pretty simple, the last one. This is pirate cake. You know. Because I, I, I'm not against leather here, but <laughs> let's see how to cope with this one. Yeah, it's much more fire 
become fiery compared to say this or or the wild atlantic by peterson it's much more yeah seems bolder and more sort of ashy and campfirey seems like a nice solid consistent block nice so there you have it basically these are the my purchases sorry i'm doing this in camera but you know there are there comes a time in your life when you basically have to suck on the bag on camera <laughs> thanks a bunch i'll get i'll, I'll get a sniff of that I, I might get a sniff of that right here that's an aromatic that's an aromatic for sure it smells divine it smells very nice I can't, oh god i can't remember what i ordered so stay tuned Till next time I'll tell you what it is oh thanks for dropping by visa you know 16 minutes <laughs> I'm again knee-deep in tobacco samples and I haven't finished the samples from last time oh well such is the life of a pipe and tobacco hoarder anyways thanks so much for dropping by and i'll see you people real soon in another one of my videos until then see you bye and have a nice mission monday or cold tuesday depending on the day i post this see you